Hey everyone, it's Jenny W. Um, I wanted to make a really quick video uh, just before I mail these off um, and give them to their um, new owners. I just wanted to show you these memorial ash pendants like the finished product. I don't think that I posted a video showing the finished products yet. Um, I showed you a video of me making some, like what they would look like and everything, but these are actually finished memorial ash pieces for people. Um, this here is just a gift box that I reused from Walmart. <laughs> These are some that I bought from Hobby Lobby. Um, this one here is a memorial ash pendant for someone. You'll have to excuse my uh, resin mess here. I'm just going to lay it on top of this box so you can see it a little better, maybe. I need to do it. Oh, right here is good. Okay. They specifically wanted some blue and black, uh, maybe some red in there too. Um, I added some red glitter, as you can see throughout there. Um, there's a heart, a letter um, for the person's name. This is the ash. I've separated it uh, to where it is noticeable and everything. Um, I haven't really made a pendant yet, an actual ash pendant, uh, where someone hasn't wanted the ash to be noticeable. So far, I've only had people ask me to make, you know, pendants that has the ash noticeable and everything. And I'm sorry for the camera shaking. Um, just holding it uh, with my right hand, so I'm sorry for that. Just got off work and I'm so tired and like my sinuses or allergies one is really bothering me today. So I apologize for the video camera being not stable. Um, this is a sterling silver bale. Um, I ordered it off of Etsy. But I like this pendant because you can kind of see the glitter and the shininess in there. The heart really puts off a lot of shine too. So it really looks cute. They wanted a teardrop shaped pendant and that is the one that I created for them. Um, there's that one. Now this one is two different ones that I've made. Um, I have used art resin for all of these. So just letting you know that art resin is the resin that I use. This one is a pendant uh, that where the person had me put ashes in it, and they wanted to use Pacific Charms um, off of necklaces. So this is one. It has a silver heart, just like the other one, a butterfly. Um, this here is the ash right here in the middle. This is the Tree of Life pendant that she sent me. Um, just like my other Memorial Ash pendant, um, this one has the butterfly bale. I only have one of those left. I'd have to order some more of those. But this one has the butterfly bale, bale on the back of it. It's really cute. I like it a lot. Um, it's good size and everything. I really like it a lot. I hope she really likes it. Then she wanted another one made because um, she had sent me four charms total and I couldn't get them all in the heart. So she actually wanted me to make another one with uh, using the rest of the um, charms that she sent me. So I made this and you can see there is a few little micro bubbles in there but I really um, let the resin set set for a long time and it's not it's not really noticeable because you notice everything else going on with this pendant more than you do any kind of bubbles. Um, this is just a gorgeous pendant. I love this mold. Um, I really do want to use this mold more often. It's so just shiny. It's got the sharp edges. It just it looks great. I love this mold. Like, I love how this turned out. It looks so good. Um, but we have a charm up here. Um, this here is another charm. Turn this this way. Um, this here is another charm off of a necklace. And then, let me get my tweezers. Right here is the ash. And um, that's exactly how she wanted it arranged uh, on a stainless steel ball chain. So. That's how it looks. It looks really awesome. It's a good size too. Like it's a pretty good size. Um, chunky and noticeable and just really pretty. I love how this turned out. And again, I used art resin. Uh, it's so clear. Um, this stuff doesn't yellow like for years um, that I know of. Gosh, I don't even I don't even know how many years it really takes this stuff to yellow. But um, my friend has got a uh, has a butterfly necklace that I made her and 
she's had it for over a year now in her rear view mirror just hanging from her rear view mirror and it's been out in the sun like the texas sun is what she said and it still hasn't yellowed so it's a really good resin to use um it's non-toxic there there's no fumes or nothing when i'm using it um it's just really nice to use i really like it a lot but that is the ash pendants that i have made um i actually had someone recently ask me if i would make um a pendant with breast milk and i can do that too um so hopefully pretty soon i'll be starting on that um, if you're interested in having a memorial ash piece done, uh, just shoot me an email or, you know, um, you can find me on Facebook. Uh, it's facebook.com slash, Jen's Resin Things. Um, I can put that down in the description box below. You can message me on there. Um, I will, you know, I like doing the ash pendants. I really like doing them, and I can't wait to make, like, a breast milk pendant, too. I think it's an awesome, you know, thing to do. Um, but anyways, you know, if you're interested in these, uh, these pieces here, the ash pendants are $50. Unless you want a sterling silver chain, then they're $65. So it's a reasonable price uh, considering what a lot of memorial pieces cost these days. Um, same thing for the breast milk. I'm looking at a maybe $50 charge for the breast milk pendant. Um, and then, if you, of course, if you want a sterling silver chain, it's more. So just let me know what you think about these. And if you would like me to make you one, uh, shoot me an email, like I said, or message me on Facebook, okay? You have a great day. Bye.